G'day ladies and gentlemen, Duckville here. Welcome to a Starcraft Heart of the Swamp cast. I've got a Terran versus Protoss coming up for you. It should be an interesting one as I uh, I am aware of our Protoss player. We'll just have a look. What, what are these guys? Here we go. What are these guys going to be ranting about? This should be quite interesting. But up at the top right hand side here is our Red Terran player. Currently playing for VWL. It is Juggler. Now this is over on the North American server I believe. We've got um our two players here up in the Grandmasters ranks and we'll see what they're going to be bringing to the table here today down at the bottom left hand side as our blue Protoss player it is Ninja now Ninja's a, he's got a stream over at um, I believe it's twitch.tv slash Ninja Starcraft I'll have put that down here in the just for you guys to see as well but um, Ninja has a particular type of style that will uh, some of you, I know, may, uh, may antagonize you for some of the others. I'm sure you'll have a little bit of fun watching this. Let's just uh, see. We've got Juggler just having a bit of a chat there. He's having a bit of fun with uh, having a discussion about Protoss. Now, state of balance at the moment, I'm sure, uh, probably will suggest to most people that this particular matchup does favor the, uh, the Protoss race, generally speaking. Uh, we have seen that a lot of <laughs> a lot of Terran players are really struggling lately, but uh, Blizzard, well... They've decided that recently, tournament results show otherwise, and uh, that it is uh, relatively even, but they are looking at changing some things, so we'll see how that goes. Now, Ninja, as we can see, has built a forge, and this uh, will signal to us, to us that we're going to have a bit of a fun time. The SCV actually just passing by that first, uh, that first probe, and Ninja is uh, going to get started with our cannon rush here. We can see that this pylon, this pylon is actually... I'm uh, going to go into the techniques of this, just... Uh, the, the technics, the technical part of this, um, because it is, uh, cannon rushing, everybody thinks that it's just something very simple that anyone could do, etc, etc, but it's not exactly the easiest thing to try and uh, get done sometimes, it can be quite difficult. Now the first pylon here is very key, you can see that this actually starts to wall off this section here. Now, it, it does take two, uh, it takes four SCVs to actually kill something before it finishes building. So that's actually key there, that we've actually blocked off to only two. Now the first Marine will pop out here, and this should be quite interesting. Juggler building up a bunker as well. The uh, Looks as if the cannon will finish killing off a couple of... Well, killing off one of the uh, the Marines that finished there. Now, where is that extra... I swear we had... Yeah, there is an extra probe here. We'll see what this probe is able to get done. The cannon down the bottom is also going to complete to provide some covering fire, but uh, the probe does get taken out. Now... The important thing is here, for those of you who are Terran, Terran players, you have to be very careful about the positioning of your bunkers, because if you put it too close, you can actually get uh, your SCVs, like a lot of the time what people do is they'll pull their SCVs and actually try and repair the bunker, and uh, what a smart cannon rushing player will do is actually target your SCVs, so you have to be very careful about your positioning of your bunkers. Now, as we can see, Juggler is, uh, he's been able to stop most of this and now is getting a little bit uh, antagonized at the moment, but more cannons are now finishing up, trying to build six at a time there, quite an interesting amount for uh, Ninja, but he is going to continue to put the pressure on, there we go, he's st starting to target down some of these SCVs, now Factory is building, and it looks as if uh, Juggler should be able, yep, needs to get that tech lab started, that is a real key here. Now back at home for Ninja, no real investments in anything else. Now. Just keep in mind that uh, Ninja is actually a very good player as well when it comes to macros. So even if this wasn't to uh, pan out quite well for him, he still could be able to macro his way out. But the cannons are doing quite well, we could say, as uh, Ninja looks to try and take down this extra bunker here. We've got now a whole heap of cannons. And the fact of the matter is, is that even if you try to retreat with your SCVs and, and get out of there, you're going to get uh, shot down by all of those cannons in there. So. It starts to get a become a very, very tough spot for our Terran player. Juggle is going to build a tank, and with the tank, that will signal the end of this cannon rush. But, I mean, he's lost so many SCVs, as we can see. We've lost uh, 12 workers. Ninja constantly still targeting them down. The tank is completed, so, as we mentioned, this should signal the end of this. The first tank. We'd, we'd love to have a second tank, because that actually may, means you kill, your, uh, you kill the cannons much quicker, but... Um, yeah, 
unfortunately the economy is going to be in a very tough spot here for our turn player back at home ninja finally building up his gateway we'll probably see the double gas go down shortly as well is uh obviously not supply blocked at all because we have so many pylons out on the map and juggler needs to get rid of this probe or one of these probes because uh if the cannons keep building it's going to cause a lot of trouble here and it looks as if juggler is just going to try and Move around the side, ut utilizing a slightly faster DPS of the tank when it's uh, not in siege mode to try and kill off these cannons before they complete. But three are now just about to complete, which are in range of the uh, command center as well. And um, Ninja's just, he's just going to keep going. <laughs> This is just crazy, he's just uh, in the face of adversity of a tank and a soon to be a second tank, he's just saying, I don't care, I'm just going to continue to build cannons back at home. We've got the cyber core on the way, one of the gases is now coming up, and um, I don't know, this becomes very tough for our Terran player. Second tank now done, he's going to activate that one and get it all in the siege mode, ready to go. Command Center is just barely staying alive, still producing a, a Marine or two every now and then. This cannon actually needs to target the tank. If he can get the tank, that'd be beautiful, but uh, nicely done by Juggler to just quickly repair that while he can. But it looks as if the tanks have cleared the way. So for now, <laughs> for now, we're actually okay, our Terran player. Let's just see, there's quite a common saying, of course, when it comes to... Uh, watching games sometimes when a Terran is behind and uh, the power of mules. Let's see if, well, one of his mules is actually repairing. We really don't want that at this stage for Juggler. He needs it. it would, we would rather have the, um, the SCVs repairing, if anything, but uh, you kind of need to save as much money as possible right now. But Ninja's going to push, uh, he's going to be pushed back for now. The two tanks are going to be able to kill off that last remaining cannon down there. And now it flips over and we say, is our Protoss player going to be prepared for any kind of counterattack? Now, two gates are going to be up. We've got a Cyber Core just researching Warp Gate Tech right now. We would love to have that Mothership Core. I'm not uh, exactly sure where it is just yet. He hasn't actually built up the core just yet. But uh, Juggler, well, I mean, it's a tough spot, buddy. He's got 12 SCVs out on the map against the 27 probes, so a fully mining base at the moment, which means that Ninja's going to be able to build up and he's going to try and just uh, get that Mothership Core out. I would have liked to have seen the Mothership Core a little bit earlier perhaps, but uh, either way, this should be interesting to see <laughs> what Juggler's going to do. He's got, he's really got just one roll of the dice here. You can't, like if you push up and then you actually, uh, you know, and you lose these forces, he's done. Obviously, I'm sure all of you guys know that anyway, but uh, looks as if a Widow Mine will come forward. A Widow Mine is a good, really good addition because uh, the Protoss player either will have a cannon or, unfortunately, the Widow Mine dies, but uh, the Protoss player may have a cannon for detection, but they're probably not going to have a Robo done by this point. So this, uh, this actually should be a rather intriguing little push here from Juggler. Let's see what he's able to do. We've got a couple of gateways that are in range of the tank, so they're able to set up and uh, are going to try and knock down a couple of these gates here. Now, Ninja, just because, uh, yeah, there's, there's a bit of chrono going into the cyber core just to make sure that these uh, the warp gates do finish up. But uh, unfortunately, he loses one in the process. We've got some uh, bunkers being built up, Marines being rallied across the map, extra tanks even popping out now for Juggler. Is he going to be able to salvage this? Is he going to be able to save the day? Now, the one thing I'm worried about, we can see that the Mothership Core is just about complete with its energy, and I'm pretty sure that this stuff is in range of the uh, of the overcharge. We'll see in a second here as he is about to, uh, I'm sure he's about to activate it. Gateway being chrono boosted there, good stuff from Ninja. Where is, oh no. Juggler, no, don't move in. So that's the line there, I'm pretty sure. Let's see what the, uh, the planetary nexus cannon of doom is able to do. What is this tank doing? That is a bad idea. 100 energy is now done for uh, the Mothership Core. Ninja perhaps just a little bit busy trying to get all of his forces together. He is also busy with some stalkers inside the main base, just polishing off the rest of the Terran forces, you know, just in case you're wondering if there's any SCVs left. There it is. And there's the line, so everything within that line is now in a lot of trouble. Even probes coming out to try and soak up some of the damage. The Photon Overcharge will finish off the last of the tanks. There is a turret here, which is quite nice, but unfortunately that is it. Juggler. 
taken out by a very, very aggressive cannon rush. We saw the cannon rush push all the way across here and was starting to try and take down the command center there, but uh, interesting stuff. I like the uh, I like the attempt there from Juggler to try and uh, bring it all back and try and salvage something, but uh, unfortunately at that stage when you've got very low income, very low production, it uh, it gets very hard, especially with the photon overcharge available. So great game from Ninja there, really interesting cannon rush from him at the start, and uh, hope you all enjoyed the match. I'll catch you all next time.